Hi, I hope you're doing fantastic. We just released a new course for our members at Programming Electronics Academy on how to use rotary encoders with Arduino. The welcome video for that course is what you're about to watch. If you're already a member, you can check out this course by logging in to our training portal. It'll be right on your dashboard. If you're not a member yet, check out our paid membership program that gives you access to all of the training courses we offer, including this new course on rotary encoders. You can learn more at the link below. All right, here's that welcome video. Welcome to this course on using rotary encoders. Now you might be like, rotary encoders? That doesn't sound exciting. Well, my friend, you are about to be surprised. Rotary encoders are absolutely amazing tools that translate rotational movement into information. They are used in tons of electronic products, which is why it's important for you to understand how they work, and better yet, so that you can learn how to program them. But here's the best part. Learning to program rotary encoders is going to teach you so much about program flow. It is going to push the limits of your current understanding of how a program should work and turn on all types of ideas for you. The first three lessons in this course go in depth on how rotary encoders work, how they encode rotational information, and how we should go about writing an algorithm to make our Arduino use them. Then what we do is implement this algorithm. That is, we actually write an Arduino program that uses polling. Then we explore the limits of this polling algorithm, and we introduce a new algorithm using interrupts. Finally, we implement the new and improved algorithm using interrupts. I really think you are going to enjoy this course. It's going to take some brain power to digest this, so be willing to put some work in there. Definitely get yourself into the code and try some of these programming examples for yourself. This course was written by Steve Stephanidis and edited by Josh Gilbert. So many thanks to both of those gentlemen for their work. Enjoy, and I hope you find this extremely useful. Bye.